uh, now we go in the area of tuition. And uh, I'm happy to present you uh, Jordi uh, Young uh, Esteve, who as a student ran into the problem that he didn't find uh, the tuition he needed. So he thought, why not do it on peer-to-peer -peer basis? And he's going to speak about everyone and expert to someone. Please, Jordi. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. As Joseph said, my name is Jordi Young. I am the founder of Sharing Academy. And I'm here to remind you that every one of you is an expert to someone. I want you to look back at your school days. How do you remember them? Were you a good student? Were you a bad student? Was it easy for you? I remember my school days as a long marathon. My friends and I were the most important things that we, my friends and I had in mind was what our teachers, what our parents told us. You have to be the best, you have to study hard, you have to get, to get the, the best grades. Because the more you know, the better life that you are supposed to have. And I have to tell you, it felt so good when we passed the exams, when we got good grades. And wait, is there any problem with that? Is there any problem in wanting to be better? Is, is there any problem on wanting to be the best, to have the best knowledge, to have a better life? I don't think so. The problem arises when we are forced to compete against our peers to become the best. It's funny. When we are kids, we are taught to share our possessions with our friends, with our brothers, sisters. But as we grow up, we try to, we start to compete in, in the school first, then in university, and we don't see our peers as allies, but as competitors. When I was in high school, I had a dream. I wanted to be an airline pilot. Well, we all have dreams, right? It's something very difficult to achieve, and only the best ones get the chance to, just to attend the aviation school. So anyway, I studied hard, and I tried to be the best. And by doing so, I started not talking to my, not, not sharing my, my experience with my classmates, with my fellow colleagues, because I started seeing them as competitors. And guess what? I got accepted not only on aviation school, but on the first university of pilots in Europe. That was amazing. My dream was becoming a reality. And once I was there, my new classmates and I, we acted the same way. We didn't share much with each other. We were seeing each other as competitors, people who could steal our dream job. You know the feeling when you think you're doing the right thing, you're trying to be the best to achieve the most, but you still feel bad somehow? But who cared? I became a pilot. That young man, that's me. It was amazing. My dream was a reality. So I thought, what I have been doing is the right thing, right? So months passed by, and my company decided to ground this plane, the plane I was, fly I was ready to fly. And they gave me a few days, a few months of vacation. So I decided to go back to university, this time to study something more creative, to compensate for my highly technical skills I got. And this time I decided to study multimedia. And at the same time I started studying, on the very first day, I started sharing with my fellow classmates every single note, draft, project, idea, everything. I wasn't, I wasn't seeing them as competitors. This time I wanted to share with everyone. And the most important thing is that the more I shared, the more the others were willing to share with us. And it, was not, it, it wasn't just about me now, it was about us. <clears throat> so in, in four years, we, we, cr we shared more than 500 notes, we created a small group of blogs, and every single classmate of, us, of mine we all became a part of an alliance of experts. 
because even though we didn't finish the university yet, we, we were just students, first year, second year students, but we all had something to share with everyone because the most important thing for you to think is that every one of you has something that can share with another one. Even though you, are, you haven't finished your university studies, even though you are not the best cook, the best sports player, you all have something to share. So months passed by and I had to come back to, to my dream job. But I didn't stop attending university either because I was feeling something that I didn't have experienced in my previous years. So after, after this, four years of sharing, we created this community of experts. And you see that picture over there? It's not pizza. That's, that's two slides of, uh, of cake. I want to tell you why this time it was different. Why I was sharing, because most of you might think, okay, this guy, he got this job, this secure job, this safe, um, safe salary, this is the picture of my last, of two month, less than two months ago, my last day in aviation. I decided to quit aviation, to devote myself, to spread the word that every one of you is an, is an expert. So that's what we do at Sharing Academy. We are a peer-to-peer -peer platform and we are trying to embrace collaboration, embrace sharing because we think that universities is the best place to start with knowledge transfer. Students, st students and normally they just, just go to university and they think, okay, I have to be here four years, I have to get my grades, I have to get my degree and then find a job. That's wrong. Four years of training, five years of training, that won't assure you a job. Not at all. So what we want to do is that Every single one, starting from university, but also ranging in everything, shares everything they know with somebody else. For example, I want you to think by yourselves, what are you good at? Are you a good cook? Are you a good at uh, playing guitar? Think about that hobby of yours, that work, something that you really like to do, that you're good at, and I want you to go up there, and I want you to share it with your peers. Are you a good cook? Then go tell your neighbors. Share your experience with them, because all of you, every single one of you is an expert, and you can share your knowledge. So what I would like for you is that you go out there, share everything that you know, because there is no one like you, and you are all experts. Thank you very much.